Hi everybody, in this video we're going to learn how to set an HDRI background in 3GS. There's basically three steps. First we're going to have to get a loader to help us load our HDR image. Then we're going to have to get an HDR image and then we'll write some code to make it all work. So let's get the loader first. Let's Google 3JS Mr. Dude GitHub and click on that. Alright, we need to go into the examples folder and we're using 3 module JS, so we're going to go into the modules folder, JSM, and we'll need to scroll down and, and go into the loaders folder. And let's scroll down to RGBE loader, not the RGBM. We want RGBE loader. So click on that. Here we go. Click on raw to get the raw file. So let's save this on our device by right clicking and save as. And hit save. Now let's put that file into our code editor. So we can just drag and drop it into our code editor directory. And there we go, my RGBE loader is here. So we have to change the path in the loader file. So if you click it, it will open here and it's going to import all these things from 3.module.js. So we have to tell it where 3.module.js is in our directory. So mine is in my modules folder. So I'm just going to change this to, so now RGBE loader can find 3.module.js in my directory here. So now we just got to get an HDRI file. You can get free HDRIs at polyhaven.com. The link to this website is in the description. There's different categories you can get here. Oh, I'm going to click on this one, Riverwalk. So on the top right here, you can choose the resolution and type of file. So I'm going to leave mine at 4K. And you can change the file type between HDR and EXR. I'm going to leave it at HDR. And I'm just going to click download. There, it's done downloading. Here's our HDR file. It's got an extension of HDR. So I'm just going to drag and drop this into my directory. So I have a folder called images. I'm just going to drag and drop it into that. And I'm going to change the name by right clicking it and hit rename just so I have a shorter name. I'm just going to call it River 4K. Now let's add some code to make this work. So first let's import the loader module. So in my script tag where type equals module, I'm just going to put import RGBE loader from, and in the from I'm putting the path where I save the RGBE loader.js file. Now we're going to use the RGBE loader to load the HDR image and set it as our background texture. So we're going to put new RGBE loader and then dot load in the inside there you're putting the path to wherever that HDR file is mine's in my images folder and this is the file name river4k.hdr and then we're going to run a function passing that texture into this function so texture.mapping is equal to 3.equa rectangular reflection mapping so we're taking that equa rectangular image this is an equa rectangular image so we're taking that equa rectangular image and we're mapping it to our texture and then we're applying that a texture to our scene background and then we're applying that texture to our scene environment and there's a few adjustments you can make in the renderer section so here's my const renderer so I'm setting render dot tone mapping tone mapping is used to approximate the appearance of HDR on a device monitor so I'm saying render dot tone mapping is equal to 3 dot ACES filmic tone mapping and then I'm ch changing the exposure level of it. So I'm using render.tone mapping exposure equal to the default is one, and you're going to have to play with this number. It basically makes the image brighter or darker. And then I'm setting the way colors are interpolated. So interpolated means what is the color between two colors? By default, this is uh, set to a linear gradient, but we're going to use the sRGBE method. So it's render.output encoding is equal to 3. Dot srgb encoding and that's it here's our hdri background in 3js cool